Today I want to teach you that you can make your reading voice sound just as smooth as your singing voice by reading in longer phrases. You can scoop up more words at a time by noticing the punctuation. Then you can check that your reading sounds right. Let's make our reading voices sound just as smooth as the voices we use to sing. Watch how I scoop up more words at a time, noticing when the punctuation signals me to take a breath. That way I can read in phrases that make sense and sound right. Let me think about how this should sound. Katina wanted to be a writer. Hmm, that sounded pretty choppy and not at all like the smooth singing voice I used to read earlier. How can I read that to make it sound right? I know, punctuation helps. Oh yeah, I see a period at the end right here. That's a clue. Okay, let me read it again, this time reading the whole sentence in one big scoop. One breath. Katina wanted to be a writer. Did that sound smoother? Does it sound right? Yeah, and it makes sense too. Let me keep going. Yikes, the next sentence looks like a long one. I'll need to make sure I look out for punctuation marks and check that I read it in a way that makes sense and sounds right. I see a comma. That tells me to scoop all the words before the comma together. At the comma, I'll take a breath. The next part is a long one, and there's no punctuation until the end of the page. Let me try reading it in one big scoop. Every evening after dinner, she would make herself a cup of ginger tea and sit down to write another chapter in her book. Did that sound right? I ran out of breath, didn't I? This is a challenging one. Okay, let me try again. I'll need to listen and think about what words make sense together and sound right. She made herself a cup of ginger tea. Do these words make sense and sound right together? They do sound better. Let me reread and try to scoop up the rest of the sentence. Every evening after dinner, she would make herself a cup of ginger tea and sit down to write another chapter in her book. Readers, did you see what I just did? Did you see how I use the punctuation to signal when to take a breath and how to scoop up the words? Then, when a part was extra long and didn't have any punctuation, I thought about which words would make sense and sound right when scooped up together. In this case, the word and was a really good place to pause. It was almost like a comma. After this video, you're going to get a chance to practice with the next page of this story.